All right, so you're ready to get a quote on some Meraki products. How do you actually do that? Now, as an individual or business, typically called a client in the world of Cisco, what you will first and foremost do is find a Cisco Meraki partner. Now, what these are are third-party businesses that are authorized to sell Cisco products and have done additional training to mean that they can also sell Cisco's Meraki product line. Now, typically these are called MSPs or managed service providers. And you can think of them as basically an outsourced IT department. They'll typically bundle together Cisco products, Meraki products, third-party products into a solution for businesses. And this is where they can look after and manage a lot of the IT requirements of businesses, especially ones that aren't big enough or don't have the capacity internally to look after their own IT needs and infrastructure. Now, that is one way that Cisco is sold. The other way that typically Cisco Meraki products are sold is through online stores. And these are partners as well, but they very much are not a managed service provider. They're simply doing a, a sale of the product itself, and that's basically where the support ends. And it's up to the client then to manage, monitor, configure their own Meraki products. It doesn't really matter how you choose to do it. Just bear in mind, you absorb a lot of risk if you do just purchase the products and don't use an MSP to manage and monitor your network because they can leverage their own internal skill sets and their own internal expertise to offer more than most businesses typically could do by themselves. So that's basically it. You find a Cisco Meraki partner, one of those third-party businesses which Cisco uses to transact. Cisco doesn't sell direct, so you do have to use a partner. However, it does not matter which partner you choose to transact through. Now, if you do work for a Cisco Meraki partner, there is more to the story than just this simple process of a client requesting a quote from a partner and the partner getting that quote back to them. Basically, the first thing you'll do as a Cisco Meraki partner is you'll take that bill of materials and you'll give it to your distributor. Now, your distributor is also a third-party company which is aligned with Cisco and is used to help Cisco scale globally. Now, the distributor will create what's called a deal ID or a DID. And these are used in a program called CCW or Cisco Commerce Workplace to actually track an opportunity and claim any active promotions. So the distributor tries to claim any active promotions which are relevant to the end user, depending on what their business type is and what the promotions running are. And then what that does is it flags with Cisco. And then Cisco will approve those if applicable. It will reject them if they're not applicable. Once that pricing has been, say, approved, for example, the distributor will then get a quote back to the partner. That's the partner's buy price. The partner will then add their own margin, and then they will quote the client. And that's basically how a quote is generated. Now, from there, if the client does decide they want to purchase, what they will then do is they will then go to the partner and place a PO. The partner will invoice them for that PO, and then the partner will work with the distributor to actually place that order on Cisco. And what that effectively means is the order is then being processed. And that's it. That's how you would quote a Cisco Meraki product.